you are welcome to my channel today we'll be solving a question on the topic interpenetration of solids we have two pipes connected as shown the standing pipe is of diameter 50 while the intersecting pipe is of diameter 30 and it is inclined at 60 degrees to the vertical line as shown here so that means it will be 30 degrees to the bottom to the top is 60 so the bottom will be 32 so then from the base to the point at which it, the intersecting the connecting pipe is connected to it is 10 as you can see from here to here is 10 and also the, the projection of the intersecting pipe at the top is 15 so we are going to solve this together now now let us start from the plan of the pipe let us draw a horizontal line let us locate a point somewhere here let's locate the point somewhere here so at that point you draw a circle of radius 25 because the base is diameter, diameter 50 we are actually what we actually want to do is to draw the plan here and plan when you are looking at it from the top from the top now this portion will give us a circle of diameter 50 so it will be radius 25 so you measure radius 25 on your compass this 25 so you can draw your circle of diameter 50 the circle of diameter 50 so you take that vertically upward to get the side of the to get the side of the elevation take it vertically upward like this and take the other one too vertically upward like that so you just move a distance a little a little bit away from the circle so let us select this place to draw to get the bottom of the elevation so this is the bottom then from this point now we can measure the height which is 70 so Then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 70 is somewhere here. So you can draw with a horizontal line like that. So now we can now measure this 10 from here to here is 10 so that we can draw the intersecting pipe this is 10 somewhere here so if this is 10 remember I said it is 60 degrees to the vertical so to the horizontal it will be 30 degrees and if you place your t your set square on your t square you will notice that this is horizontal this is the incline so it is 30 degree this way so we can use that one directly to construct a to construct it like that so after you have done that somewhere along this line because we need to draw the intersecting pipe as well so and we need to draw the elevation when we look in this direction you see the circle so we draw that circle of diameter 30 so let us pick a point somewhere here the diameter is 30 definitely the radius will be half of the diameter which is 15 so this is 15 so we can draw a circle of radius 15 that oh oh 
definitely we can't because this is the bottom of our circle so it will be on the top so the best thing we can do to get us off is to first of all get a perpendicular line to that point you can slide it away a little so when you slide it away you can now put a perpendicular line to that point because that the, that line should be the base of our circle so if this is the base of our circle so our circle the center of our circle from here will be the radius you mark it that is because this bottom will be here so if we draw our circle here it will be out of the 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 elevation so this is the base of this is the base of our circle so you measure the center which will be the radius and that's what we have measured on our compass so you use that one to mark this one so you can now come to the center and draw a circle now like that so after you have done that the next thing is to now divide the circle into a number of equal parts usually the best you should do is to divide it into so you want to you want to draw a perpendicular line first the best is to divide it into 12 equal parts you can also divide into eight but the more the division the better your output so this is still the radius of the circle let us check if it has not shifted yes it's still there so you can stay on this corner mark arc forward and backward you go to the next point forward and backward you go to the next point forward and backward and to the last one which is there forward and backward remember it is the radius of the circle that you will use to draw the axe so you can now join you do all this one with thin lines shouldn't be thick they are just const construction line and finally you do this so now you can now label your circle let's start from here so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and back to one so the next thing is to return this corner backward so that we can have the outline of the intersecting circle so like that so that is by the way the question is not complete yet now according to the question it says from this top to this side is 15 so you measure that 15 you measure 15 and then this is 15 somewhere here so you can now draw a perpendicular line to that point first let's put it on this one and you slide it backward so that you can put okay let's use this let's use this you slide it backward from the line so that you can draw a perpendicular line to that line like this This line must be at 90 angle 90. That's why we have done it that way. So now, now similarly for the plan, this projecting pipe will also be somewhere here. But you need to get it with a circle, so a circle of this because we need to draw the elevation looking in this direction, which you see, you see this same circle. So you put the same circle here. Let us locate a point on which we want to draw it. Let's say here. Now let's move it backward a little somewhere here 
so the radius let us check if it has not shifted it should be 1.5 yeah it's still there so you come to this place and you draw the circle like that so you need to draw a vertical line as well you need to draw a vertical line So that you can divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Remember, to divide the circle into 12 equal parts, you need the radius of the circle to make a crown it. So it is, the radius is still there. So you can start from here, you go forward and backward. Go to the next point goes forward and backward come to this one forward and it has shifted let's confirm if it's still yes it's still there so forward and backward so finally you come to this one mark it there forward and so you can now join this way So now let us label this one too. Now to label this one, you consider this one, this line that is parallel to the face of the pipe. This line, consider it as horizontal line. And the one that is perpendicular to it, which is one and seven, consider it as horizontal. Again, consider four and ten as vertical line, then one and seven, consider it as horizontal line so the one that is on the vertical line that is 4 and 10 we place them horizontal here so you put your 4 here and you can put your 10 here it does not matter if you put 10 here and put 4 here to see work so if that is the case now the one that is horizontal which is 1 and 7 we place them vertical let's say this is 1 and 7 it does not matter if you place your 7 up and 1 downward so you still get the same thing so let us now count this way now this is one you have two here three here four five six seven eight nine ten you have eleven and twelve so that's that so the next thing now is to now get a complete plan you take transfer the circle the line from the edge of the circle back to the vat standing pipe you transfer this one to backward like this so now you also need to transfer you now be, you need to link them for example he, along this line we have three and five let us rule it we draw a parallel line parallel line to the side of the cylinder the intersecting cylinder is this is the intersecting cylinder so you shift shift it to three and five this is three and five you can see three and five you roll it in when you roll it in you can roll the next one just roll everything that is two and six then one and seven Eight and twelve. Eight and twelve. That is eleven and nine. Eleven and nine and ten. So you have done that. Now the same thing will be done here.
this is 2 and 12 this is 2 and 12 let us go and look for 2 here where is 2 this is 2 at this point so you can draw it vertically downward this is 2 here 2 on this point you can see this is 2 coming here come here it is meeting 2 you can see 2 here so we have a point here on this same point here put a donut there on this same line we have also we also have 6 6 here so let us trace our 6 here is our 6 this is our 6 so that we can this is our 6 and 9 so this is 6 coming here you can see this is also 6 coming this way it is meeting 6 here so we put a donut there now the next one let us look at oh let's look at 3 and 5 let us look at 3 and 5 that is this point 3 and 5 you rule it downward now you come and look for 3 where is 3 here this is our 3 so you draw the horizontal line from 3 so 3 and 11 are on the same point so this is 3 meeting 3 here you can see this point if you trace it up it will take you back to 3 you can see it will take us to 3 still on this same line we have 5 this line we have 5 these are 5 here let us rule our 5 like this these are 5 so it is meeting 5 here see if you trace it back it will take you to 5 you see it it's taking us to 5 so the next one is to rule uh, that is 1 and 7 this one and this one at this point one and seven put it on it roll it downward so our uh, one and seven this is one here it is meeting one here and this is seven it is meeting seven here so now we have our eight and twelve let us rule our 8 and 12 that is at this point eight and 12 where is our 8? 12 this is our 12 on this line it's already there and um, 8 and see we have 8 and 12 along that line so where is our 12 these are 12 we have done 12 and our 8 is along this line so our 8 will be here the next one is our 11 and 9 so that will be at this point take it vertically downward 11 and 9 this is 11 here we meet it here and this is 9 where is 9? this is 9 it will be here and finally our uh, 10 at the bottom 10 10 is here so we take our 10 downward almost on the same point because to go over. okay this one the 11 and 9 was not properly done let us check that again 11 and 9 11 and 9 is close very close that is our 10 and our 10 is here 
we have not done for four here. Four. We started from three and we have done three and five. We have done two and six, but we have not done for four. So we need to transfer four to and what? And this is our four. So it means four here. So with this one now, we have our elliptical shape which you have to join with the French curve. You have to join it with the French curve. You can join these three first. You can join these three. Similarly, you can turn it and join these three too. So we can now come here and join these two. Like this. So the same side, just turn it like this and join this this one. Can join this one too. So you can turn it this way and join this side. Join this one first. shape and you can now join the remaining part to the standing circle with thick line like this then this one too join it with straight line if you go that way like that so now we have the complete plan then the next thing is to draw the line of interpenetration that will be somewhere here so we connect them, begin to connect them again, starting from, what do we have here? We have, we have one here, one, take one vertically upward, wherever, where you're touching the standing circle, that's where you take up, that is one, where is one here, this is one, so it's meeting one here, you can see this is one, the next one is two and twelve, that is this point that's where it's touching the standing circle so you take it vertically upward let us check you have to this one is not very straight just correct it once the line is not straight it will affect others so it has to be perpendicular you check your c square ensure it is staying firmly on the so one is meeting one here now the second one which is this that is two and twelve where is two here this is two coming here meeting two here and 12 is coming this is 12 is meeting 12 here so the next one is 3 and 11 3 and 11 that is this point take it vertically upward 3 and 11 where is 3 this is 3 here so it's meeting 3 here and meeting 11 where is 11 this is 11, 11, is meeting 11 here, and finally this one which is 4 and 10, which is the side of the cylinder, it is 4 and 10, it is meeting 10 here, as you can see this is 10, 
to meet 10 here and the same line has already gone up and to meet 4 here look at 4 to meet 4 here so you can now draw the line of interpenetration with the French curve Turn it with the French ball. Let's see if we use this. That now you can thicken this side and this one so that you can bring out the outline of your elevation. It's important you quickly do this in case you are in the examination hall so that even if you are not able to complete the question, you will know you have completed the plan and elevation you can make this one too thick make it thick mm -hmm. so the final part now is to draw the line of interpenetration line of interpenetration to draw that you need of us let us extend the base extend the base then you put 45 degree angle 45 degree let, let it be as close as possible to the elevation so that you don't enlarge your drawing and unnecessarily like that so you start with the outline of the standing pipe you extend this one tangential line the top and the bottom so you can now take this vertically upward from where it is in touching the 45 degree angle take the center too and take the bottom so with this we have the outline of the standing pipe you can draw the top let's extend this one to get the top yeah that is that so this time we are going to develop and we are going to draw what is happening here and draw what is happening here one after the other so let us start with the top first so to draw the top let us take it to this point is four let us draw four this is four take it here like this now you come and bring four here where is four here four is here at the center take it to this point is already there so this is four you can to make it get make it because four and ten are on the same line let us draw ten too what is ten here ten is also at the bottom ten is at the bottom so it at this point you go to that place transfer ten horizontally so that you know you are done with that you can see this is 10 coming this way this way it is making 10 here if you trace it it's taking you to 10 you can see 4 and 10 now here we have 3 and 5 here at this point let us take it horizontally first horizontally that is 3 and 3 and 5 so let us go this is 3 let us take our 3 horizontally to that point these are three so it's touching the 45 degree here so at this point you transfer it vertically upward what we have along that line is what three so three meeting three will be here Three meeting three will be here. Then and we have three and five here. So let us go and trace five two. This is our five. So we trace it horizontally first. 
horizontally so it's meeting the 45 degree here so at that point you take it vertically upward take it vertically upward like this so when it goes up that is for five five let us look for five you can see this is three and five coming like this going this way so it's meeting five here so three and five this is where you have three and five now the next one is what do we have here we have two and six you can see two and six here so you take your two and six horizontally first take it horizontally like this then let us come and trace it here that is two and six this is two here just send a two there this is two here So you take two vertically upward. This is a line two, and it's meeting two. You can see this is two coming like this. So it's meeting two here. It's meeting two here at this point. So it is two and six. So let us go and take our six. This is a six, six and eight. So let us transfer our six. This is six. Take it to the forty-five degree angle, forty-five degree line, and now transfer it vertically upward. 